Hi, I'm Shanice O'Mara, a mechanical engineer. Engineering is all about problem solving, researching and developing ideas for new products and devising ways to improve existing ones. And all the items in here have been engineered from this car to this desk light. Engineers go through many stages from sketching to prototyping, often using cardboard to begin with. And when used in the right way, this stuff can be remarkably strong. So we're challenging you to use cardboard to build a chair. Yep, a chair you can sit on. But you're not allowed to use any glue, tape, or any other types of fixings. Chairs come in many different shapes and sizes, some more unusual than others. Whatever the design, the key principles must remain the same. The chair must be able to distribute the weight of the load placed upon it. This means the joints used need to be carefully considered to deliver maximum strength. Mark. Hi there. Hi. Nice, nice to meet you. you. So, cardboard chair. Yes. Yeah. How are we going to tackle that? Yeah, we basically turn a relatively flimsy, thin material into something that can be really strong um, and support loads of downward force um, from a person. With simple ruler, pen and a knife, um, we can create structures like so. This looks like the seat of chairs I've seen before. Exactly, yeah. So which one's your favourite? I would say if someone looking to start out, um, the ribbing here is really great. Um, we've got an example I can show you here. It's basically just a few strips of cardboard with cut sections, combining them together in slotting like this, we can create a really great, strong structure and apply downward force on that. And do you actually use this at work? Yeah, of course. Um, at Dyson, we make models like this one here, um, and it gives us a really great, quick and easy way to prototype products. And I can actually see it being applied on the next table, so I might hop over there. Yep, excellent. Thank you so much. No worries, thank you very much. Hi Matt. Hi, how are you doing? Good, how are you? Yeah, good, thank you. So, I've just learnt that ribbing is a really good technique to yes. build a chair. And we've got a really good example of that on the base of this chair here. You have. So, this is really strong. I mean, yes. rock solid. Yeah, and it's important to just spread that weight out. Clearly you must have the legs to attach. Yeah. There's something inside it. Yeah, so that's the two triangles with the rib running through the middle to give extra strength. So now, here we go, there's, there's one stall at the moment. That we can great. both push down on it and there's plenty yes. of strength there. So if I pop okay. the back on this, we'll get you to have a sit on it. That really does look very chair-like. Move it down here for you. Ah, okay, moment of truth. Moment of truth. Yeah, so this is all my weight now that's on it. Thank Great, you. Great, thank you very well much. Done. Hi Sam. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hi. Gosh, are you moving in? Yes, well, one room at a time. <laughs> this is a footstool. Footstool, I see that sofa over there. I really want to try it. Yeah, let's go have a look. Gosh, this looks very cosy and comfy. Yes, well, take a seat and put your feet up. Okay. Yeah. So what is going on? I mean, you're building all these different components, you know, coffee table, cushion. Yes, so we got the initial brief to build up a chair and we thought, where can we take this and what else can we do? So hence, what you're seeing in front of you. Well, I have to say, it's pretty impressive what you've done with cardboard. Now it's your turn to take the challenge. We've created some useful information to help you. Just go to our website and download the challenge card. Once you've proved that your design works, take a photo of you sitting on your chair or seat. Get downloading now. We can't wait to see what you come up with.